spirited away. In the vicinity of Mount Hikami, people have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. One such girl is Miyu Hinasaki. She awakens to find herself in an old, half-flooded building. Yeah, it looks like you really, you really should start running. Alright, there's an exit. Yeah, um... I'm just gonna fucking bounce out of here. Later. I'm out. To find a way out of here. Yeah, despite it not being said quite yet, there's a run button on um L2 or whatever it, ZL. I don't know. What, what is it called on the switch? Yeah, ZL. There's a light at the end of the corridor. Maybe there's a way out of that way. They're chasing after me. I have to get out. Fucking run! <gasps> well, shit, that won't work. Yeah, it looks like uh, the run button also works. It's a camera reset. Looks bad. Yeah. Oh, not not left. Too. Oh, that's open now somehow.
Shadow Reading Among the residents of the villages at the foot of Mount Ikami, a certain unique ability has been passed through the ages. This ability, known as Shadow Reading, enables the user to view the shadow or trace of someone lost in inexplicable circumstances. This is not unlike the psychometry practiced elsewhere. Yuri Kozukata accompanies Hisoka Kurosawa, a woman who possesses the Shadow Reading ability, to an abandoned inn on Mount Ikami. Sensing Yuri could in time become talented at shadow reading, Hisoka takes her along on an assignment. I thought that I'd be scared of death. But I can't even cry. What we're looking for should be in here. This is an excellent chance for you to take the lead. Here, take this. Ah. This is a camera obscura. It will let you see the unseen, including the clues that will help you find what we're here for. This is your opportunity, your first case. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do well. Let's start with a little practice. It works exactly like a normal camera. Give it a try. Just hold up the camera. Alright. Hey, girl. Have you find her move? Yep, okay. I'm moving the view. Get Hisoka in the frame. She is in frame. The camera obscura photographs the netherworld, a whole other world separate from our own. That Oof. world that we see through the lens is not unlike the afterlife. Capture them both, and I can rotate that, it looks like, as well. Sure not, not that I said it yet, but, you know. You see. If you aren't careful, you might be drawn into the netherworld. Lock on with at any square, so I can do that, which looks to be very Fatal Frame Four and Two sent like an idea. Things around here seem to have changed. Take this. Post mortem photograph. It will help lead you to what we're looking for. Now don't panic, but be sure to stay on your guard. Go on. Man, that hand is just clipping through everything now, isn't it? Because I don't know if I was meant to do that during this spit. I think it just really wants me to open the menu, but fuck that. Let's clip the hand. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, no more. All right, so here's, here's a map. Can't really do much with it. Can move floor, which not useful right now. L, B, and X, tenor step, snap mode, and any time to capture. What? What? Also press L, B, and X. What is it? I don't know what the fuck they want, cause I'm using a pro controller. God damn it! Oh, it doesn't want me to actually do that right now. L, B, and X. Welcome to snap mode. Here you can freely position the manip and manipulate characters and goes in order to take the perfect picture. Oh, it's just picture mode. Oh. Wait. 
Oh yeah, this looks like I can easily abuse this to like look around areas that I have not explored yet. Hey. Well, whatever. I, I won't be abusing that. Hello there. A lot of familiar names so far. Oh man. Close physics, hell yeah. Between, um, Kurosawa. This is a post-mortem photograph. It's not just a normal photograph. It was taken to mourn the dead. It's why Ren sent us here. What? I wonder what relation she has to Ray. Uh, also, Miyu Hinasaki, wonder what relationship she has with Miku? Because I'm pretty sure they both share the same last name. Okay, what is that arrow? What is it? Wants me to go in here? Is that it? No? Alright. Not even gonna question my outburst there. Or you're like, yeah, that's to be expected. Yuri, wait. I can sense something. It's called a trace. A shadow of the past. The token is showing you the way. Oh, that's not a nice thing to have, is say, hey, go here, Come stupid on, button. To you to the right path. Oh, that way. Let's follow that shadow. I'm not allowed oh I can move, it's just I'm not allowed to run. Alright, it's going down this way. Let's follow it. Yeah, I see it going that way. Cool. Was that a shadow of the past? Echoes of the past. In places where the traces of the past are very strong, you may be able to view echoes of the past. Photographing them will earn you photo points, which can be used to upgrade the cameras. Or I can quickly just go over here and grab this instead of uh, following them, which has this slow-ass mechanic. Oh, I can't, I have to let... I can't even do the Fatal Frame 4 or 2 thing where I just like, you know, on and off the button. That sucks. Oh, Dusty Book has been left in the hallway. Maybe someone dropped it. Mount Hikami has long been considered holy ground. For centuries, people have been drawn to the many sacred shrines and places of worship, as well as the natural features such as the twi uh, Twilight Peak and the Pool of Purification, which have themselves been treated with great reverence. The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for the beauty of its abundant clear waters and ancient mysterious forests. Worshippers and hikers alike used to find rest at Ichiru Manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from a devastating landslide it suffered many years ago. The shrine road to the summit was cut off and the flow of the water throughout the mountain was altered, forever changing the landscape. New roads that were under construction had to be abandoned and Ichidu Manor was buried under a slew of rock, resulting in numerous fatalities. Among those lost were the family of Ichidu Manor's proprietor, effectively putting an end to the business. Mount Hikami's days of a, as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notoriety as a suicide spot. Perhaps because it was traditionally a destination to which the dying would venture, the mountains knew uh, now a place for those wishing to end their own lives. By extension, it has also become a, a place for thrill seekers interest in, interested in the occult. Oh, is that a ghost? Oh. Uh, 
He disappeared too soon for me to take that picture. Yes, I know to follow the trace. Don't need to tell me. Hey, is that a... Th yeah, that's a thing I can open. Not that I can. I, I'm supposed to go over here. You really did not need to get on your knees. That's tall enough for you to, like, crouch walk. You did not need to crawl on all fours. That's a bit ridiculous. Maybe it's in this room. Doors locked. It appears we need a key. Try using the camera obscura. I guess I will. When you look over through the lens of the camera obscura, you may notice it reacting to objects which are not normally visible. Lock on and photograph them to expose places or items that have the items they have a connection with. Find out locations from the photographs and you may discover some clues there as well. I guess I will. Gotcha. So there's a wig and a closet. Gotcha. There's something in the photo. It's like coming out of a closet and there's a doll on top of a chest of drawers. This may be where the key is. Find the place shown in the photograph. It's somewhere in this building. To view the photograph again, open the main menu. Yeah, okay. Yuri, you go on ahead of me and look for the key to the door. Sure, whatever. Man, it'd be so cool if I could do like a fucking slide down this if I was running. Oh, hey there. Alright. Can I switch to... No, I only have type 7. Only type 7. That is a quite a long get-up animation. Speaking of long animation, what was with that door? You could, really taking your time right there. Can I observe this other, these other things? Oh, hey. Just, yeah, get, get that Dutch angle going. It's perfect. Man, I wish it saved pictures to, like, a file. That'd be nice. But I guess it won't. Cool. Yeah, I got it. Got me some points, hell yeah. You don't look like you're doing so well, my man. You okay? I don't think you are. I mean, you are a ghost. I doubt you're okay. Am I even capable of upgrading now? I'm curious. Uh, no? No. I don't really know. Oh, cool. Holding in the run button doesn't mean I'm crawling automatically. I have to actually move forward. Cool. Let's get in there. Hey, ghost, where you at? Somewhere in this room. Take a look around. Alright. Some bullshit's happening. There's a ton of errors around me. Try searching with the camera obscure. Yeah, I got it, but I'm also looking for items. It could be hidden, invisible to the naked. Hold on, there's something there. Phantom Expose. The camera obscure will react to items that are normally hidden from the. Oh, okay. You can bring those items back to this world by photographing the place where they were from with the correct angle and position. Uh, what do you mean? Oh! Oh, that button. Okay. <laughs> Controls are a bit goofy. Oh, it's, it's a toggle, not a hold on. Okay, I got it. No, except that's a hold. 
No, I was completely wrong. This is what we came here for. Huh. We shouldn't stay here any longer than we need to. You're right. Let's head back before it gets dark. Okay. Alrighty, this is... Alright, I got some bullshit to complain about. Okay, so... You, you press... You press ZL. I'm gonna talk in like pro controller terminology because I'm using that. So you press ZL to lock on, and then you have to like do L and R to rotate, which is a bit odd. I really wish that the gyro controls were implemented in this in the PC version, which I'm playing right now. This is the PC version of the game. I really wish gyro was implemented so that way I didn't have to deal with like, oh, I'm in the middle of a fight. And then I'm like using all four of my fingers to do like lock on, turn rotating with like slow acceleration at the start when like really I should be able to just gyro and then, you know, snap a picture. I really wish gyro was in the PC version. It's in the PS4 version and the Switch version, I'm I, I'm pretty sure. Motherfucker. It's in those versions that I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in those versions, but... Yuri, searching for objects like we did just now might be easy, but searching for people is much more difficult. Psychometry allows you to see the psychic imprint as a shadow. Never follow after the shadow of someone who has been spirited away. You might end up seeing something you wish you hadn't. I thought there was something in here. But also, like, I've got a beast of a computer and I want to be able to use it on, you know, especially on a digital only game. will try to attack or grab you oh you mean like that okay I got him the ghost record when you took a photograph of it maybe taking more will exercise it for good fighting ghosts yeah okay circles weak point capture rectangle uh, okay I, I played the other games enter the mode Gotcha, bitch. RT to photograph it. It's a photograph. Fuck, it wasn't in the thing. Can I, can I move, please? Spirit fragments. Break off when the ghost takes damage. Man. This tutorial is really slowing down this everything. Targets a shutter chance. I mean, yeah, tutorial is fine and all. It's just uh, I've played the other games. I think I'll do just fine. I can't even like move. I'm not allowed to even straight straight fit. Oh, so that's how this works. It's no longer on, like, a, a charge-based system. It's more on a fragment 
Like, how many circles can you capture? That's neat. Fatal frame and fatal, fatal time. When the captured area flashes red as a ghost is attacking, you can take a fatal frame shot. You need to capture the ghost mid-attack. Apart from a knockback effect, fatal frame shots. Yeah, okay. Not trigger shutter, shutter chance. Gotcha. There we go. Cool. Attack range and attack power. Camera obscure only a uh, uh, specific range. Bigger this target, more camera will, more damage will deal. Get closer to ghost, more powerful shots. Cool. Now I can actually fucking move. Come on. Let's get you in portrait so uh, when you decide to attack me. Come on. Come on. There you go, you bastard. Get fucked. Oh, you're not dead? Oh, probably because your tutorial goes, you have as much health as you need. Where the where fuck you think you're going? Backing up. Oh. Why well, you gotta be like this? Come on. I'm right here. Yeah. Keep it coming. Or you're dead. That's cool too. What's that flower icon? Dream again. Um, Mr. Hojo? Hosoka came by a little while ago. Oh, Hosoka. What does she want? She found the photo book. She did? Yeah, here. Take a look.
while learning about Shadow Reading from Hisoka, Yuri used the ability to retrieve an album of post-mortem photographs from a ruined inn on Mount Hikami. The album was requested by a certain Ren Hojo. As Ren awoke from a bad dream, he found himself tormented up by uncertainty. Was it really just a dream, or a suppressed childhood memory? This question has plagued him for some time. Rank B. Aw, oh, come on. Did better than that. Cool. So, uh, real quick as I show off some costumes, because hey, there's DLC costumes in this game. You might not have them, you might do have them. I just want to show them off anyway, because I'm probably not going to use them. I'd rather stick with normal outfits for right now. So, yeah, real quick, I mentioned earlier that, um,. I'm playing the Steam version, and I'm playing this like in basically an hour or two right after it came out. These I'm pretty sure I had to buy, uh, which I do have the points for, but I kind of don't want them. Yeah! Yeah! Um, which was kind of a difficult decision on what version I wanted to play, whether the Wii U version, which I do own the Wii U version because I did buy that with the original intent on... Um, doing that when I would play this game because I was I'm going through the entire Fatal Frame series. That's what I'm doing. If you couldn't tell for however long I've been doing this on the channel, um, but uh, I I bought that with the original intent of doing that, and then this got announced this remaster, which is fucking great. I love it. There's, yeah, there's the Fatal Frame 3 version, and then the Fatal Frame 1 version. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a tough decision on which one to do. I, As you see, I ultimately decided on the PC version because, hey, got a new PC, I mentioned earlier, and I want to play it in like 1080 and give my, my myself more reason to make the PC purchase more justified. So multiple reasons. It's just a shame that that gameplay element of Gyro was taken out for this because I don't even own like an Xbox controller that can connect to my PC. It's been several days since the incident at the inn. Hisoka is out on a case. A young girl comes to the shop and finds a worried Yuri. Yuri's giving a missing, missing person case, something Hisoka forbade. So it looks like I can switch over to, different, to a different difficulty whenever I want. Which is okay. That's fine. Oh. Oh, I can increase it, but I'm giving a I'm given a default. This is an interesting way to do it. Can only be purchased once, a lens that allows you to experience spiritual phenomena. What? What is that for? But this is an interesting way to do it. Are you just gonna... Is every is every mission gonna be like this, where you're given a default amount? I mean, you can up your equipment. Oh, that, that could be interesting. A few days have passed since Yuri's introduction to Shadow Reading at the Abandoned Inn. Since then, Hisoka has gone off somewhere and hasn't returned. Yuri wonders for Hisoka. What? Yuri worries for Hisoka, but isn't sure how or where to start searching. As she sits, waiting at the antique shop, a girl named Fuyuhi Himeno shows up, claiming to have enlisted Hisoka to help her find a missing person.
ひそかさんはいらっしゃいますかあすみません今留守にしています依頼をした氷見野です人探しだから受けるかどうかということでしたけどいつになるのかと思って人探し山にいたかもしれないんです氷上山氷上山山の近くで遥かを見た人がいて自殺の名称ですよね遥かがそんなところに行くはずないんです私に何も言わずに<音声>すみません黒沢が戻り次第いえ遅くなるなら結構です自分で確かめます